Okay, uh, let's look at the midterm uh, number 10, right? So you have a rational function given, uh, which is uh, x minus 6 over x plus 6, right? So part A, what are the x-intercepts, right? So you know to find x-intercept, we set, the, set y equal to 0. So basically, setting the whole function equal to 0 which means that uh, it's actually, you can just uh, setting the top equal to zero. So you can see that the x equals six will make it zero. So a value is gonna be uh, six. Let's see, yep, six. All right, and what are the y-intercept? So in order to find y-intercept, we'll, um, we'll uh, set uh, x equal to zero, all right? So if you put 0 here and uh, 0 there, so you have a negative 6 over positive 6. So it's going to be negative 1, right? So negative 1, right? And then uh, you see that the part B, determine the domain, oops, determine the domain of uh, F, right? So domain of the rational function, we just have to make sure that the denominator is non-zero. So you can see that the bad number, bad x value would be negative six. So domain would be all real numbers except for uh, negative six. So put negative six, all right? Then I go down a little bit more, all right? Part C. All right, part C. What are the vertical asymptotes? So in order to find a vertical asymptote, we set the denominator equal to zero. So vertical asymptote is x equals negative six. All right. And what is the horizontal asymptote? So when you do a horizontal asymptote, we're gonna look at the degree on top and the degree on the bottom. In this, in this case, Degree on top is one. Degree on the bottom is also one. So look at the leading coefficient on top is one. Leading coefficient on top is one. So it's one over one. So y equals one is the horizontal asymptote, right? And if you go down a little further, all right, choose the correct graph uh, of f of x, all right? So we have to have a horizontal, a vertical asymptote at um, negative six, right? So this looks all right, and this one, not so much, because uh, you can see that horizontal, asymptote, a vertical asymptote is on the positive side. So this is not it, this is not it. So it's gonna be either this guy or that guy, right? Then you have to look at the horizontal asymptote. Remember that the horizontal asymptote we came up with was uh, positive one, all right? So this one, horizontal asymptote is at positive one. This one, horizontal asymptote is actually below the x-axis, so that's not gonna be it. So therefore, D is the, the correct picture, all right? Let's see if, uh, if this uh, was a correct by submitting it. I might take a while to get back, but uh, it's uh, evaluating and let's see if um, this, one, this one comes out to be correct. All right, still thinking, yeah, still thinking. All right, I'm gonna uh, pause the video so that you don't have to wait. So I'll, I'll pause it. All right, so uh, it came back, and you can see that, all right, first one, we got an x-intercept correct. Oops, sorry. Um, so it's going to go down. All right, y-intercept is correct, and we got the domain correct, and the vertical asymptotes correct, and the horizontal asymptotes correct, and we chose the correct graph. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.